Hello friends and welcome to another studio vlog. It has truly been a while since a studio vlog. It's Monday afternoon and I am making my coffee for the first time today. I had a doctor's appointment this morning, starting off my week to see how our baby is doing and it went well. I'm ready to start my week. This week's gonna be super fun. I have a ton of social plans scheduled, but we have a lot to catch up on. So once this coffee is done brewing, let's have a little chat, you and me. We are situated here on our living room floor. I have my black coffee. Mm. Started drinking my coffee black because Alex and I thought it'd be a great idea to try Kirkland's oat milk. It's the oat milk packs that are at Costco. There's like six cartons in a box and it just tastes so bad. I know it's a sunk cost, and honestly, it was only like 12 or 14 bucks. We have so many cartons of this oat milk, and I don't like it. Like, I think it tastes really bad in my coffee. I just don't wanna drink it anymore, but I don't wanna buy more oat milk. I'm just drinking my coffee black. I also have this lovely little snack. I haven't had lunch yet, but gambas? I'm not saying that right. My mom loves to make this. It's like olive oil roasted with garlic, peppers, and shrimp. Now this is a fabulous snack. Oh. Hello. Hi. It's been a while. Guys, so, I mean, you can stay or you can go. Do you want some? No, I'm okay. <coughs> yeah, so, life update. Alex and I finally caught COVID. I can't even believe I'm saying it. I know, like... I know everyone's had COVID, especially this variant. Almost everyone in my life has gotten COVID at this point. I just never thought I would get COVID, especially being pregnant. Like I was being careful. Yeah, it hit us. In hindsight, it wasn't too bad. It was just bad because I was already uncomfortable with my pregnancy. It just exacerbated a lot of the discomfort I was already feeling. I didn't get a fever. Alex got a fever. You can hear him coughing still. I am still kind of like congested, but it's been two weeks for me and I'm still like just getting my taste back. <clears throat> I still have like some congestion and we have coughing fits, but I think it's okay. Like I said, I had a doctor's appointment this morning. Baby's healthy. She's been kicking a lot. The only thing is we had to reschedule our baby shower. People were understanding. It totally threw us off our tracks. Plans I had for like my Christmas cards and my calendar, it's delayed and I'm just getting back into the swing of things. Last week was the fair summer market. And so I was focused on that. My retail shop was really slow last week. I did get a few wholesale orders, which I'm very, very happy about. And I was able to fulfill them over the weekend. Yeah, this week really feels like the first week where I am actually clear headed. I have a lot to figure out. We also have a lot of social plans this week. Baby's coming in five weeks, guys, five weeks. I'm just really feeling like the pressure and wanting to like see my friends and wanting to catch up with people before that happens. I have to get all my Christmas stuff ready to go. So it's a busy week. Thank you for being with me here another week. And I hope this one's a fun one. I'll talk to you in a bit after I finish my little snack. Okay, so last week I brought home all the stickers I had. These are all the stickers in my shop, one of each. And I realized my listings were not accurate. Some of the stickers have changed in size over the years. This one got kind of smaller. I need to update my listings so that it reflects the measurement of each sticker properly. I'm gonna measure them. And the thing that bothers me is like some of them are kiss cut. So like you can see, kiss cut means like there's like a border around it so that it's easier to peel the sticker, like this one. And then some of them are not kiss cut. Like the sticker just goes right up to the end. I need to streamline my products so that they're all consistent. So I think I do wanna make all my stickers kiss cut. I was thinking if I'm gonna make all my stickers kiss cut, I can put my logo on the outside rim. So when you peel the sticker, my logo won't be there, but then like when you buy the sticker, you'll be able to see a website or something like that. Just so that it's better for branding, especially wholesale, because if these just sit loose on a counter, you can't tell who made them. These are the stickers I need to reorder. So while I'm reordering them, I'm gonna also add in the logo and make them kiss cut and I'm gonna measure all of these this is what it's looking like right now the stickers are just cut right to the border so what I want to do is have the sticker cut here 
but then the actual sticker is here so there's like extra space here for me to write my brand and like maybe my website here yeah i think this will just be better for merchandising and i'm gonna hopefully do that with all my stickers moving forward however there are some stickers like this one where i think i have like 500 of these left so who knows when that day will come update on this ikea chair it's well loved by alex well loved i actually don't love it because like this headpiece sticks out so much so i feel like when i'm sitting on it like i can't fully recline my neck this dude sits on it every day hi baby it's dinner time and today we're gonna keep it simple I made beef broth earlier this week with chunks of like beef brisket in it. But it's not like a bone broth or anything. It's just, I just basically boiled beef. But I'm gonna make dak mandu cook with frozen dak and my mom's homemade mandu. Oh, Alex, can you open this for me? Can you come here and open it? This <sighs> is so toy. I'm also gonna add one of these like um, anchovy vegetable broth things. I think I talk about this in every vlog. <laughs> it's just like a tablet, but I think that'll just add a little more flavor to this. We got the dumplings, the most important part. This would probably look a lot tastier if I had like green onion. Um, and today our panchan featuring cucumber, kim, peppers, and kimchi, all from my mother. How are you doing that? Let me show you guys the best bite. Mandas are ginormous, but you take like a quarter of it and place it with some kim. And then you put a piece of kimchi, or in this case, it's a pepper, and then wraps up. Mmm. Bachelorette Monday! Yeah. I think I got a high <laughs> um, Can we talk about that chip, though? This is my new favorite chip. Spicy ketchup chips from Costco. Summer drink, my little Shirley Temple. Good morning, happy Tuesday. We're heading out very, very early. It's 7.30 in the morning. We've got to go to our printers. Typically, we go early in the morning so I can improve the color and so that they can get like their press going for the rest of the day. We're approving our Christmas cards today, which is so exciting and mind-blowing that we're doing this in July. I'm here to pick up my friend Sally. She's gonna be joining me so that on the way home, we can stop by our friend's place and have a little coffee date with her. We have our McDonald's dollar iced coffee. If you don't know about summer drink days, you're missing out. Hey, good morning. Hello. How are you? Oh, where's Francis going? Oh, he's taking the shuttle bus from Crita Valley oh. to, to Trillium. I wish I caught him. He looks like a schoolboy. I know, look, at I packed his <laughs> lunch. I even packed him a juice box. <laughs> I think I'll do this one for these two at least. These are the foil dies. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa. Oh that is so cool. I thought you guys would outsource this. We did. And then you the Oh my gosh. That's insane. <laughs> we are back home. It is lunchtime. I am starving. I had a really wonderful morning. Sally and I caught up with Jess, our other friend. We had coffee. How is it? Good. We are eating jajangmyeon today, black bean sauce over noodles, prepared by my mom. And we have a new kimchi to our collection. This is like a fresher summer kimchi. What does it taste like? More sesame oil or something? Fresh. Fresher. This one's more fermented. Mmm. The noodles are so thick. I'm just a pregnant girl enjoying her corn. Do you eat your corn like this, row by row? Or do you just chomp on it like a monster? It is the end of a long day. Still Tuesday. 
today I worked on some personal design projects as well as the calendar. I'm actually going back to Sally's. That girl's moving this week. We are grabbing a bookshelf from her that she is generously donating to my studio. I guess Francis is donating it. It's his shelf. Quite the late night adventure. We are in my dad's minivan. It's huge. It, it's literally like a house. Because it's like a house, it can fit a bookshelf. Thanks guys. Hi Francis. Hi Paul. <laughs> Guys are so strong. Earn the. Someone to help you on the way back. Yeah, we'll force Daniel to help. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, there's so much space. Hi, last time ever in this condo. <laughs> Their personalities are so different. You guys are crazy. 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 Happy Wednesday. We are heading out early today. I have a downtown date with my sister. We have a super exciting collab with one of my favorite stores in Toronto. I'll take you along for that. But I thought we could get ready together. Just washed my face. I'm gonna be using Hydrium Watery Toner. Just put a bit on my hands. In the mornings, I like to use Paula's Choice Vitamin C. And I'm pretty lazy, I just drop it directly onto my face. This is the moisturizer I've been using. Honestly, I'm not too picky about moisturizers. As long as they moisturize, like I have very dry skin. As long as they're not too light. Alex actually uses this Paula's Choice moisturizer, an oil-free moisturizer. And I think it's for more like blemish prone people. So I'm just trying out this new eye cream from AHC. It's another Korean brand and honestly so far so good. I opened this guy like three days ago so hasn't been a long time. And to top it off, sunscreen. I use the Innisfree Perfect UV sunscreen. It just hasn't run out yet. I don't have any problems with this one. Yeah, today we are going to V2V to, v to do some in-store shopping. They've invited me to come browse their store, buy some stuff in exchange for like an Instagram post or feature. So I'm super excited because V2V v is a place that I've been buying gifts from for a while. They had a shop on Ossington. They moved their location to Dundas West. My sis took a day off to have like a nice little downtown date with me because it might be the last time we can do that we're eyeing a pizza place that we've never tried there will probably be coffee at some point in terms of work this week i do eventually have to go pack orders actually before we head out i have some design work to finish a handful of custom baby prints the main thing has been my calendar i've been painting away at my 2023 calendar for the past few weeks We are done. We have our bassinet in the corner waiting for our baby girl. I have my keyboard that holds my clothes every night. And we have our library book collection here. I actually have been reading Crying in H Mart lately. This is how far I am in. This is how much I've read. But this book is due tomorrow and I can't renew it. So I'm just going to return it tomorrow. I'll read it another season. I'm not really feeling it right now anyway. I thought we'd put on some cute earrings. These are my earrings from Ana Luisa. Thought it'd be cute to uh, accessorize today since we're gonna be out on the town. Sally also gifted me this really cute necklace that says C on it. It's also from Ana Luisa. C is the name of our daughter, our unborn daughter. I actually have a few other like everyday necklaces that I used to wear, but the chains all broke, so I have to get those fixed. And then maybe I'll wear like a cute bracelet. I have this bracelet that says Sela on it. It's from Little Words Project. Angela got it for me like last year or two years ago. Little bracelet. And I shall charge my Apple Watch. I know there will be coffee today with my sis, but I, I do need a little bit before I go out. Good morning. jar was brought to you by kitten and the bear another local toronto 
place to check out. They make great jams. Why'd you get dropped off so far? Quick little outfit of the day. We have an H&M t-shirt, Kitten Ace happy dress, and we have our sailor paper tote bag. Just me and my favorite partner in crime. <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> but how blessed am I that my best friend is also my sister? You know? Uh, okay. Let's go! actually kind of chilly today, which is perfect for me. We are back. That was so fun. We basically went shopping for an hour and I just picked up everything I liked from V to V and it took so much longer than I thought because there was so much cute stuff. I was busy filming on my phone so I could like make a reel for them later. But yeah, their store is so amazingly curated. Prices are so reasonable. Hi, can I get an iced latte please with oat milk instead? Thank you. Oh, and is it possible to make it half decaf? Yeah. Yep. Thank you. I lost you. Did you say two percent? One percent. Oh. Two. Thank you so much. How was that? I like that. It's so good. But the all is. I think one of the best. And sound one of the best pizzas I've had in Toronto. Oh, I have the crust. The crust is so good. This is We are back home. I'm honestly so happy with my little shopping haul. First, I got this basket. This one feels really soft. I also picked up this gigantic mirror. But I thought this would look so cute in the baby's nursery. It'd be cute, right? Got this trivet. I like that it's like crocheted and it's like really thick. Little mister. It's like... I got it in like the green glass. Accent plate. I thought it would be actually cute on our coffee table right here where I'm filming. Couldn't go to V to V without picking up another mug. This one's yellow. These are the two mugs I got today. Also picked up a little spoon rest. I actually shattered our spoon rest a few weeks ago, so we actually needed one. This one's like speckled. I actually got two of them because I realized my mom doesn't have like a proper spoon rest at her home. So jewelry box, glass gold accents. I'm actually really excited for this one. So this is like a ceramic fruit bowl. I just thought it would look nice on our wooden table there with avocados, bananas, I don't know, whatever you want. At least I picked up some jewelry from there. Vita V actually has like really beautiful jewelry pieces. Pick these little gold hoops up for my mom. She doesn't wear a lot of big accent pieces. They were having a lot of great sales actually. Things were marked off 50%. And I got these pink earrings for like 10 bucks. I just think they'd be kind of cute. Finally making it out. It's past lunch and I'm gonna head over to my parents to fulfill some orders. Pretty chill day today. Happy Thursday. We have a busy weekend, so we have to get a lot of work done today.
sometimes like to put a little legend of what the three-piece set looks like because you can't really tell from just this plastic and I know this one's gonna be a gift so just slip it in here I don't even attach it so now when they get it they can flip it and see that it's three-piece done packing my orders so now I'm just gonna spend time refreshing my inventory there's like a lot of little things I need to do to like optimize this area for when baby comes slowly chipping away at that Have you guys ever tried this it's literally a can of sugar I feel like a lot of my friends would not like this because it's like way too sweet but remember these sticker sheets if you watched my earlier vlogs this was my first set of sticker sheets ever. It was a two-page thing, which I don't know why I did two pages. Like, I would never do that again. But they were like faith stickers. Sticker sheets don't sell well for me. I just leave the blinds like this today. Good. <laughs> Whoops. Caught you naked. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. We have Josie and Kat coming over for breakfast today. I'm gonna make shakshuka, obviously. Then we do have the afternoon to do some work. And then I'm also seeing my friends from New York, David and Angela. They're in town with their baby daughters. So last night, Suji, Alex and I drove back to Badi Ali's, literally like 24 hours after I had it for the first time. And we got boxes of pizza because I wanted it so badly. I was thinking about it all night. Yeah, it was just one of those like, we have to get it today. So believe it or not, we went. I do feel a bit swollen today and it's probably from the late night pizza, but we don't have time to detox. Because I'm cooking more shakshuka than normal, I like to cook it in my pan first and then I move it to like a serving dish, like a baking dish, and then I'm gonna bake the eggs actually in the oven. And now I'm just preparing the feta. We did a Costco haul yesterday. This is the feta we normally buy, 1.2 kilograms of feta. So I usually move a chunk of it into its own brine water so I can like access it easier. Really salty at the bottom. I'm gonna tie it. I didn't. My brows are so dark. I got my brows done. And so this is like, don't. No. Natural <laughs> 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 today. <laughs> Morning friends, happy Saturday. I completely forgot to vlog yesterday and it was like a day off for me, but now it's Saturday and we have another full day of social plans ahead. We have a birthday lunch, a birthday dinner, and yeah, it feels like summer is in full swing, especially with baby coming. I feel like Alex and I are scheduling, like for some people, it's like the last time we're gonna see them before um, we're parents and so, it's been a really nice time, but business-wise, it has been quite slow this week in terms of my activity. But next week, I'm hoping to pick that up because calendars have to go out very, very soon. Yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here officially in case I can't film an outro today. But thank you so much for being here another week with me. Life has just been really exciting these days for me. And so I'm so glad I can share it, document it. Very thankful for each and every one of you. This channel is very modest in numbers, but it's something that I've been cultivating because I just genuinely enjoy vlogging. So. Thank you guys. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe because you know that helps me a ton. But yeah, otherwise, I will see you again next week, guys. Bye!